Growing up on polka music. Growing up on polka music. Stories from my life. Growing up on polka music, stories from my life. Hello y'all, I'm Diana Brianne. Well, I don't give advice, suggestions, information, recommendations. I just share with you my perspective on different topics as is with this one. And as y'all know, I've been telling little bits and pieces, little stories from my life, not in chronological order. And if you go over onto my main channel, Diana Brianne Fairchild, you'll probably find around a hundred different stories that I have told from my life. And so I do hope you go over to my main channel, Diana Brianne Fairchild, and likely I'm going to put this one up on my grandma's porch with Diana Brianne Fairchild channel. Links are pinned to the top of the comment section below, okay? Well, you know, I got to thinking about polkas. You know, I'm always reviewing in my life about little stories that I can tell, and I came up with one that I remembered that I hadn't even really thought of back in the days when Lawrence Welk used to be on television and my mother would love, love, love to watch Lawrence Welk's show because they played a lot of polkas. My mom was a wonderful, amazing polka dancer. By the way, it's raining out there today and I'm loving the rain because I can stay home. I normally go out there and do my five mile run, which I love, love, love. And yet today I can stay home and focus on my college work, which y'all know I'm a full-time college student. Okay. But I love, I love to get out there and run every day. And so I got to thinking about the polka music. My mom would play polka music on Saturday afternoons. There was a polka music radio show that played, you know, from the morning to the mid-afternoon, I believe it was. And she loved to polka around the kitchen. She was a wonderful polka dancer. She and my stepfather used to go polka dancing, usually um, on a Friday night. And she just loved, loved, loved polka dancing. And usually where they went polka dancing, there was a lot of food. Really, people would bring homemade dishes in, and there was food that accompanying that accompanied the dancing. And on Saturday night, before they went polka dancing, sometimes on Saturday as well as Friday nights, um, we would watch the Lawrence Welk Show. Now, Lawrence Welk Show was not my favorite thing to watch as a young you know, as a young kid. And yet, um, now I sometimes go back and, you know, I like to fondly remember it. I, I, I like to watch it because it brings back all these wonderful memories of my mom dancing around the kitchen. My mom was also a yodeler and she is actually um, sang on the radio and her name was Yodeling Pat. And this was in the 1930s and 1940s, I believe, somewhere in that period of time. She was an amazing singer and an amazing polka dancer and an amazing mother, of course. And I have just such wonderful memories when I hear polka music. I do love polka music. I think most people don't even know what polka music is anymore because it's not that heard of like it was when I was growing up and where I was growing up. And there was a lot of people that polka you know, and if you were a great polka dancer, you really had it going on. <laughs> So I just wanted to come on here and share that little bit from my life about polka dancing and how it brings back so many amazing, wonderful memories into my life. And so, well, I hope you have a great day and I do hope you connect to all five of my channels. Links pinned to the top of the comment section below. If the links are broken, just copy and paste, please. And I hope to talk to you soon again. So from my beautiful rainy day to wherever you're at, I hope to talk to you then. Bye-bye.
place to relax and a place to enjoy. Grandma's room.